Hey Dan, how are ya? I'm here in New Jersey. You had asked me how I'm doing with quarantine. I'm doing all right, but quite frankly, my social life really hasn't changed at all. I couldn't get a date before the quarantine virus thing, and I still can't get a date. Uh, so in any event, you were asking me what I'm doing and what I'm uh, playing around with, with these days. And as I told you, I'm doing virtual reality a little bit in my hippie room. And I tried to explain kind of what I was doing, but I figured I'd make a quick video, show you what I'm doing, and maybe it'll serve as a quick tutorial for some of my, uh, some of my video game buddies as well around the country. So, as you know, I was playing virtual reality, and uh, long story short, I got it all wired up, put the headset on, and I, and I walk around the room with the headset. But the problem, though, is in virtual reality, uh, a lot of times you're walking around, but in real life, your feet are not moving that much. So you kind of get a little queasy. So I wanted to figure out if there was some kind of geeky way to coordinate it so that the video game would know if my feet are moving. Uh, I haven't figured out how I can use a coupon on a date without pissing off women, but I figured... You know what? Maybe I can figure out how to play a video game and move my feet. So what I did was, uh, the first thing I did, since I can't really go to the store and buy anything, is I walked around the house to figure out what technology I have. And uh, I'm still using my $5 flip phone. Yep, hard to believe. In fact, they still have another 10 of these or so. Uh, I like my $5 flip phone. But the last time I came to visit you, you gave me one of these, uh, one of these phones. You upgraded one of your smartphones. So I had this thing collecting dust. And it turns out, uh, before the quarantine, I was at a flea market, and I bought another one for a dollar. Uh, they didn't, they weren't sure if it worked or not, so I invested a dollar. turns out it needed a battery, so the battery was six bucks. And uh, then it had a password, so I just did a factory reset. So I'm going to quickly show you how geeky I am. And uh, maybe, again, this will serve as a quick tutorial and show people what the heck I'm up to, and maybe they'll want to kind of want to duplicate it, presuming they don't have a life like me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of attach the phones to my feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from scratch. I'm loading this piece of software. I bought the software on sale, of course, for $8. And it's called Natural Locomotion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to track it. I'm going to turn on the tracker. Calibration required. So calibration required. And what I do is I just have to tell it that the phone is alive. So I'm, I'm doing figure eights. And it should take a couple seconds to coordinate. Da -da -da -da. So that's done. So that one's set, and then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Doing figure eights to alert the phone as to the movement and wake it up kind of thing. Da -da -da -da. Isn't this exciting? People are out there saving lives, and I'm over here playing video games. So now the tricky part is how do I attach the phones to my feet? Well, I was watching Mr. Rogers' movie. And it gave me the idea. So I pulled out my old shoes with Velcro that everybody made fun of me for. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my phone that's serving as a tracker inside the Velcro like that. I'm going to take my other Mr. Rogers shoe. I know. It's hard to believe I, I'm single, right, Dad? I know. I'm going to put this over here. And now, technically, these should know when my feet are moving. Now I have to coordinate it. I have to tell the computer. So I don't know if you can see the screen. I'm, I'm teaching the computer what it's like to walk. Done. So now, theoretically, if it's all working, the video game will know it. Now, the, the way I have the phone talking to the computer is I invested another $4 on a little Bluetooth adapter. I bought it on eBay. So for 4 bucks, I got the thing going. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit run game and uh, this game is uh, not bad I'm gonna show you how this works with my with my feeties and here we go st st stay awake I'm gonna put in my headset figure out where I put my controllers I don't know if you can see the screen, but now I'm walking in the video game. So here we go. It's a bow and arrow game. Hold on, where the heck are you? How are you, Pop? I'm making you proud, aren't I? So here we go. So I'm, I'm, I don't know if you can see it. I'm in a castle. I have a, 
I have a bow and arrow in my hands. Now I'm walking. And again, there's no motion sickness because I'm walking, but my feet are moving. So you don't get queasy or anything. Okay, here, here's a bad guy. So I'm gonna shoot him with the bow and arrow. Here's a bad guy. Oh, here we go, some more bad guys. There we go. I'm peeking around the corner. Uh-oh, where are you, Dan? I want to stay in the camera. All right. And you can also run in the game. I just hit something. Stay over here. Alright. <laughs> Probably should try and get the hell out of here. Uh oh, I died it. Alright, so there you go. So it's it's pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. And that gives you an idea of uh, some of the things that I'm doing in, in quarantine, as impressive as it is. Like I said, there's, there's people out there saving lives, and I'm staying home. I'm staying home and, and being cautious. So, that's the scoop pop. What do you think? Video games with walking, and it cost me probably about, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks to get the whole thing running. So. That pretty much summarizes my social life, as well as my sex life, quite frankly, Pop. Anyway, be safe. I love you very much, Pop. Hopefully I'll see you soon in Arizona. Bye.